At 11 is devoted to dad all week long as we look ahead to Father's Day this Sunday. Having kids at a young age isn't easy. The adolescent birth rate continues to decline in California, but substantial racial, ethnic and geographic inequities persist, according to the Centers for Disease Control. Today, we turn our attention to teen dads. Statistics show while about 750,000 teen girls become pregnant every year, at least 250,000 of their baby's fathers are teens themselves. The Man Up Right Now program in Sacramento guides these young men in the right direction with fatherhood by helping them develop a positive mindset and by focusing on their futures. Here to talk with us more about the Man Up Right Now program is Terry Moore from the Center for Fathers and Families. Welcome to Fox 40 News at 11. Terry, I think maybe you need to unmute. Sorry about that. Thank you for having me. Yes, yes. The Man Up Right Now program consists of teen dads and other young men ages 13 to 19. What's the number one thing you're trying to instill in them? Well, we're trying to instill to focus on their future a lot. You know, there's so much going on that attracts the attention of young people nowadays on social media and in the world. Um, but we're trying to get them to focus on their careers, trying to focus on uh, developing into being a young man and also being able to cope in the absence or the you know limited time of their father being present. And those three things are the elements that will help them to grow into being successful young men. Children who don't live with their fathers are five times more likely to be poverty stricken than children who have both parents at home. And yet we also know that eight out of 10 teen dads don't marry the mother of their child. How does Man Up help these dads confront the frankly stark realities of their situation and start making some of those job connections and trying to, you know, strengthen the bonds that may be there? It could have been an, you know, an acrimonious relationship that developed and maybe they're broken up with mom. How do you try to emphasize how much that relationship means it being positive, cordial for the kids? Well, we give them, we talk to them about where they're at now, where they're possibly going to be, and then where they can end up. And the important thing is that a lot, they may not have a male figure who has had that conversation with them about how child support can ruin your financial development, about how, you know, being married and, and being in a solid relationship will be important to their careers about, you know, at least investing some time into their careers and what they want to be and what they want to be and what they want to do and developing a legacy of who they want to be in the future, not who they become because they didn't focus. So, uh, you know, we tell them straight out, we show them the numbers, we show them the, you know, we have the Department of Child Support Services involved. Um, we, t we show them the worst part of it and realistic people who come in and tell them this is what happened to me. And then we show them if you avoid these things and you take the right road, this is what your future can look like. And this is what success looks like. Which one do you want? And they always pick success. Obviously, babies do better when parents do better. We know young mothers often never get their education back on track after the rigors of pregnancy and delivery. Does Man Up focus on making sure these young men stay in school and then pursue higher education, be it vocational or otherwise? Absolutely. We give them the different avenues they can go. Um, you know, we tell them the distractions that can pull them away and the consequences of that. But we tell them completing school, at least 12th grade, is very, very important. And then you have the options of going on to college, which we highly recommend going to the military. We, we let them know about the military. I've done the military or, uh, you know, at the least finding a great job that's going to sustain them throughout the years of their adulthood. So those are the three options they have. Uh, Jail is not an option. Now, work is not an option. <laughs> you know, uh, and, and we even tell them the realistic stats and, and challenges of being a, a professional player on how many people actually come out of you know our city sacramento which is very few so once we, we once you give them that focus um, they start striving for it and we are about 90 percent successful with our young men making it to where they want to be yes i know a lot of young people in general dream about a professional i don't know music star or a, a sports star as you were saying and that is not realistic for everyone um, just before we run out of time we always hear about teen moms and all the programs for teen moms how critical is it that there is something like this at the center to give a community a circle to teen dads so that this life development isn't so isolating it's really important you know a lot of these programs aren't popular 
You know, nobody's going to be, you know, really tweeting about them. They're not uh, doing TikToks about them. So we have to get out in the community and, and let people know what we're doing and how important it is. So we try to get a hold of the young men. Uh, we're not trying to be their fathers, but we're trying to be father figures and mentors. And we have this program, Man Up Right Now, that teaches them right now, not, not next year. We're not going to circle back around right now. And then we have a program, you know, called Mothers Raising Sons. So we can touch bases with both sides. A lot of times young men go to the program, you ask them, how was it? Good. That's all they say. The mother doesn't get any information. So we give the mothers the information. We have the young men get the information. We patch that together and we help them grow together and um, give them both the dream that's realistic that they can succeed in. All righty. Thank you so much. Terry Moore from the Center for Fathers and Families. We appreciate you. Thank you.